Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? As promised in the daily financial news, we have Laura Morby with us. How are you doing this morning, Laura? Hi. Hi. Hello. Sorry, I've got a little baby with me. That's okay. It's real life. That's totally okay. <laughs> Little puppies running around, uh, children making noise. It's all good. Don't don't stress. Don't worry about it. If, if the audience doesn't like it, too bad. It's real life. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. We are we are trying to help. So hey, one of the things that I wanted to talk with you about because again, you're you're in the top one percent of real estate agents. Uh, you are part of a dynamic duo, entrepreneurs. You know, out there in real estate is. What do you think about investing in yourself, right? Is that something you've done back when you were doing hundreds of short sales and all of these things? So I just thought we should talk about it, right? Investing in yourself. Yeah, definitely. Do you mean like self-care or do you mean like- All um, of it, whether it's just self-care, self-care, decompressing, making sure you know, you, you're taking care of you, but also in the business, wherever you want to take this, Laura. Okay. <laughs> Well, um, you know, it's really funny that you asked this because I was just talking to somebody about this. Um, we had like a little get together for Pace's Mastermind and I was talking to um, one of the women who was there and she was telling me how, you know, after work, she's just, you know, drained and she needs to do something else. And I was like, what do you love? Do you love to work out? Do you love to like hang out with your friends. And she was like, well, I'm not really like a big hangout person, but yeah, I love to work out. I love yoga. And I was like, you should just make that a priority that you actually go. And even if it's really hard, just make sure you carve out once a week. Mm -hmm. So I think that the hardest part is when you get like really busy, just the things that aren't, um, you know, that don't have to do with your business kind of take a back seat mm -hmm. and realizing that it's okay to book something for yourself. Yeah. And so one of the easiest ways that I've found and that I notice with other people, like for Jamil Damji, it's really important that he meditates in the morning. Mm. And so he'll block that off. And, um, you know, if his day has to start at 7am, then his meditation ritual starts at 4am. So he just makes sure he gets it in. Um, also Cody Barton pays his partner. He has his morning routine that he has to do. And then he's also decided that, um, you know, he's off. Don't bother him until 9 a.m. And I think that there's nothing wrong with that too, because that's fine. Yeah. And so I think that the the key to doing this as you get busier is just to put mm -hmm. it in your calendar and just make it an appointment with yourself and don't break it and don't push it around. And just, I mean, even if you don't want to tell a client or a seller or something, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I'm actually working out. And it's mm -hmm. like, just say, Hey, I've got another meeting at that time. Mm -hmm. Is there a chance we can do it another time? So, yeah. um, you definitely have to take care of yourself because if you don't, you're just going to be an empty cup and you have nothing left to give. So you have to, Oh, I like that an empty cup. Yeah. yeah. Let's make this all about this, all about self-care. Cause I don't think enough people talk about the importance. Right. Um, and, and the other thing I want to talk about is self-care really can change based on where you are. Maybe in the beginning it is that, Hey, I need that. I need that decompression. I need, I need to get out the stress of the day, the week, the month. Maybe that's working out. Maybe it's, it's meditating. Uh, some other times in life, you know, I have, I found that that was something for me uh, that was kind of that missing link in my twenties and thirties. Interestingly enough though, and I don't know if this is the pandemic or what's going on the last year or so um, for me, it's actually about, frankly, reading of all things, right? Go, go find some positivity in this world. There's so much negativity going on. I want to read yeah. happy stories, right? I want, it, it's, it's amazing how I feel after 20 minutes of just reading a happy story. Right. Uh, yeah. Something positive. Uh, that, that's been game changing for me in the last 12 months. Yeah. To not get taken down by all the negativity. Yeah. And then do you also mean like spending money and investing in like education? And it, Absolutely. I think that's, you know, investing. Yeah. Whether it's a mastermind or a course or a book or even just your time in something, it's, it's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways that you can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think of, so I'm actually around a lot of like, I don't know, as you have like acquisitions, people come and go, um, you know, a lot of them are just, spending the money or living on the money. And I've mm -hmm. actually ran into a few acquisitions people who are um, 
wanting to buy houses, like either wanting to buy their first rental or they're wanting to buy a house to live in for a little bit and then turn it into a rental. Mm -hmm. And I think that's actually an investment in yourself because you're making money and you're then creating a situation to where you have some passive income. I am like blown away when they say something like that. I'm like, that's actually so cool. Like, <laughs> that's awesome. You know, I was just talking to a girl. She's fantastic at acquisitions and she's picking up her first rental this coming month. That's she's awesome. already found it. And I'm like, that's so cool that you're doing that. And she has a goal to have three by the end of the year. Oh, and awesome. I mean, I'm sure she's going to blow that out of the water. She'll probably have more. And I think that's really cool. And I think that's a great way to spend money. And um, also in education too. I mean, Pace just did a mastermind. And sometimes you think like masterminds are going to be a lot of like, woo woo, like goofy stuff, but um, they can really change your, you know, your life. You know, I had a, I had a guy come up to me and just cried and he was like, mm. my life is like completely changed. Like everything's going to be different for my family. And I'm like, yeah, and he's already a successful businessman already. So mm -hmm. there's always somebody that you can learn from. There's always a book that you can read. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, spending money to be a part of something. Like even, I mean, speaking of a high level person, Jamil. Jamil just joined a mastermind that meets in like Tulum or something. And, mm -hmm. you know, he loves it. And you're, you know, rubbing shoulders with like other successful people who are like-minded from around the country, from around the world. And mm -hmm. that's really awesome. So yeah, definitely spending money to, you know, learn new things is, is huge too. So, yeah, I think there's a couple of things in there. I just want to go back to first year acquisitions lady who's going to buy their first rental with a goal of three. I want yeah. more and more people to understand that, you know, if you're, I mean, it, it skews younger, but anybody can do this. The whole notion of house hacking, whether it's house hacking a house or a fourplex, right. It has to be residential um, is amazing. hundred uh, percent. Yeah. And more and more people need to look that up. All right. And um, again, I, I really like the idea of one rental at a time, obviously. Uh, yeah. But it, 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 in order to get there, you have to make life choices. And, yeah. and sometimes that's cutting out stupid spending. Right? 100%. 100%. Yeah. I was just thinking about when I worked at a lender when I was like around her age and I was W2. So it would have been a perfect time to find out. I didn't. <laughs> And then um, also it was um, like, I would get these bonus checks every other week. Yeah. And I'm thinking in my head, like, where'd what? it go? <laughs> well, I, did weird. I mean, I, I did, it's not like I blew it. You know, I paid down student loans and stuff like that. But I was thinking in my head, I was like, I could have totally picked up a few properties at that point myself. Yeah. I didn't. And like, it's just, I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. And that's weird to me. And then I'm listening <laughs> to her and she's in her early twenties and she's like, Oh yeah. Like I, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, you're so smart. What the heck? Why did like, yeah. you know, yes. why was I thinking of that? Like I was thinking of like, Oh, pay down my debt. I want less debt. Yeah. And like really student loan payments are just, I mean, the payment they're designed for you to pay for them for 40 something years or something yeah. like that. So the payment's like super low Right. And in my head. I'm like, this is really smart. And, you know, I didn't even have a car loan at that point. I had no debt, just student loans. And I'm like, I am a genius. <laughs> now I'm looking back and I'm like, I could have had a few houses. Yeah. Like, what? And yeah. I, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, right. And I was already a real estate agent before at that point. Oh, and I no. just, just never even it. crossed my mind. Yeah. yeah. Just... Until this week. And she said it. And I was like, wow, I freaking totally missed the ball there. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Again, folks, uh, getting on the property ladder, uh, using people don't realize that the system is really designed to help first time home buyers get on the property ladder. Yeah. Um, you just, you got to do the work. You got to become credit worthy. You got to save for a down payment. You should have a reserve, uh, but it's there. Right. And, and yeah. I got to tell people today, if you're not working to get your first house today or property, right. It might be a fourplex, tri or duplex. Mm -hmm. uh, with these 30 year rates, God, you're going to, you're going to miss the boat in a couple of years when they're much, much higher. Yes. I completely agree. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then, we'll, then let's go to the mastermind, right? When, when I think about masterminds in, in, or books or educating yourself, depending on where you're at, maybe you don't have thousands of dollars to join a mastermind. You, you, you've got, there's two things that I think masterminds bring. One is, as you mentioned with Jamil, right? The, the rubbing shoulders with other like-minded and, you know, like some are very expensive, right? So you get in a room where people are spending 40 grand a year or whatever it is. 
mm-hmm. you're, you're around some producers, right? And right. You know, just, yeah. just goes up and down. So again, you're, you're getting in the room and the whole idea of a mastermind is everybody shares. Yes. Right? Yes. Everybody yeah. shares. So you're not, you're not going in with a scarcity mindset. Like I'm going to protect my little, my little widget. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody shares that and they'll kick you out if you're not, you know, participating, which is, which is awesome. Yes. Yes. And, you, and you're paying for kind of acceleration, right? That's the big thing I've seen attending and speaking at other masterminds when I'm invited is you just, you just never know what you're going to pick up. That's going to accelerate uh, your learning curve, right? If you, if you can, if, even if it doesn't lead to more deals, but you cut two, three, four steps out of the chain, mm-hmm. it's a success. A hundred percent. Totally agree. Yeah. And it's interesting, like paces, you know, someone gave like a presentation at one of the masterminds that pace is a part of about taxes and like setting up a charity and um, donated properties to a charity after you've depreciated them. And he was like, I just like, just in like an hour, I probably, you know, saved millions of dollars. And I'm like, so interesting, you know, <laughs> or, you know, he met somebody who was like, Oh yeah, I'll, um, you know, I'd love to help you like figure out how to write a book. And he was like, great. I've been wanting to write a book. And so, yeah, like you never know what you're going to get out of it. And, you know, that's going to make it to where either you save money or you make money or you like solve a problem in your business that you've been having over and over, you Mm -hmm. know, you never know. Yeah. For me, masterminds, it doesn't have to be mastermind, you know, by name, but just being around other individuals in the business, whatever that is for you, it really is. It should expand your horizons. It really should accelerate and expand. And, and, you know, that's what investing in yourself could do. Yeah, it really can. So yeah, I mean, there's so many ways to take care of yourself, but definitely, I mean, it sounds like a lot, especially when you're like, can you imagine like starting a business and you watch this video and you're like, I haven't worked out in six months and I'm barely holding on. And you just are hearing us saying this and like, I don't have time to read a book. I don't even have time to watch the news. I don't have time to listen to sad stories, let alone happy stories. Yeah. And so um, just know, like, you know, if you're burning the candle at both ends, like you're going to burn yourself out, just take the time to take care of like just your basic needs, like take care of your body. Like your body can only mm. go so far as like you take keep taking care of it. You're so, so right. If yeah. you're like hammering at home, trying to start a business and you're living off of fast food and you have a terrible sleep schedule and you're not yeah. working out. Maybe from this video, all you take is that you um, put in your calendar an appointment with yourself to work yeah. out. And then maybe you hire someone to like deliver meal prep to your house, like something that can just, yeah you know, make it to where you can put in those long hours, these first couple of years. So, you know, there's always something to take. Yeah. Out of this. Yeah. I got to tell you <clears throat> when you're struggling, getting started, whether you're a full-time employee doing one rental at a time, or you're an entrepreneur jumping in full-time, you've got to mm-hmm. know two things, right? You're, you're focused on whatever your thing is, mm-hmm. but if you don't take care of your mental and your physical state, your body will eventually revolt. Yes. Right. I, I've been in high pressure sales for my entire life. I've seen wickedly smart individuals kill it, crush it, uh, end up in a very bad state after five to seven to 10 years. Um, and some of them have, their lives have been cut short. Right. Yeah. So I, I got to tell you, it's not worth it. It's just no. not worth it. Take, take the time for me. It's a big mental game at this age is nearly 50, uh, mm-hmm. earlier in life. It was a very physical thing. So I, I just had to feel better. So please take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe like implementing a morning routine too. I mean, I should do that for myself, but my mornings are, you never know with (laughs) a baby, but, um, you know, I've seen morning routines completely change people's lives Sure. and it just sets up your day, you know, for success. And so I would say do as others say, and not as I do in this (laughs) case. And I've, firsthand seen it work within my own home and with multiple people that I know that having a good morning routine is, uh, is amazing and it doesn't cost anything and you can customize it to what means something to you. And, um, yeah, it just helps you be more consistent with falling asleep also, cause you're waking up at the mm-hmm. same time and you're just setting up your day appropriately. So if you just need two hours where you're not bugged and you throw in, you know, say you even love coffee. It doesn't even have to be anything like mm-hmm. amazing. 
that you just have coffee and you listen to, you know, a podcast or a ebook or an ebook mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. something that you're interested in. And then you maybe go on a walk and maybe you kill two birds, one stone and you walk the dogs yeah. and, you know, just having something that you do every morning and you can just kind of pre mentally prepare yourself, I think is a wonderful way to take care of yourself too. There you go. Uh, that's very good advice. Laura, if somebody wants to buy some real estate in the state of Arizona, how should they get a hold of you or follow you or be a part of your world? I would say probably definitely my phone, 480-717-2070. And then on Instagram, Laura Morby, no spaces. Very cool. Thank you, Laura.